Hey there, Bakugan fans. Welcome back to Bakumentary. I'm your host, Robo Sensei, and on today's episode, we got our Armored Elite booster boxes. We got three of them, and we're going to be opening them one by one because I need content, so of course I'm going to split them up. Uh, let's get into the first one. So, uh, of course, we've all been hunting for this for a very long while, and I mean, it's almost basically time for Fusion Force to release. Oh boy, of course it's upside down. What? But yeah, it's basically almost time for Fusion Force and we barely even know anything about it. Is this 36? This doesn't look like 36. We'll find out. They'd lying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And, nope, okay, so that's 36. Alright, so yeah, Fusion Force is basically almost here. We don't know much about it, uh, except the stupid stuff that we get from the leaked starter decks and one pack from Kodok. Uh, what are Fusion Bakugan? <laughs> basically, uh, so yeah, let's get into these. Basically, we're looking for all the stuff that everybody wants. We want the Glaives, we want the Pyrobliterators, we want Dark Rages, Mega Pegas, Max Troxes. Okay, Rage... Okay. Let's scoot up here. So, first pack, Raging Darkness, Baku Thrusters, Flame Jump, Pyro Portal, Titan Trox, Pyrus. Scorching Swords, getting Power Crypt in the next set, Power Crept in the next set. Uh, Ventus Hyper Feral, uh, boost. If you have seven or more energy cards in play, this has plus five damage and shadow strike. Mm, uh, nope. Uh, Lily. Or you draw an additional card each turn. You may energize an additional card from your hand each turn. Uh, so it's kind of like a one-sided strata and uh, extra energy, which uh, for seven, no, it would be a great effect if you could get it out early. Uh, inspired Brawler, uh, Flip Heroes are bad. Uh, five cost, stop non Heos, put this into play. Your Bach gonna have plus one Frost Strike. Uh, as far as we're aware, um, Flip Heroes are not Flips or Heroes, and they're their own card type, so you can't use uh, Age of War List Lia to play these, and you can't use Lightning from Battle Brawlers to reduce its cost. At least that's what we're under the assumption of right now. But that's our first awesome rare. And then we have... Oh, I was going to say, what is this? Uh, we have a Fade Ninja Baku Rider Hex. When you reveal a card in your hand, a Bakugan gets plus 300B. It doesn't say that it has to be revealed through a sync effect. So if there is something that, like, says that your opponent reveals their hand, or choose a player to reveal their hand, and you end up revealing your entire hand, you can just get a whole bunch of... You can get a lot of B off of this. But, uh, sync support's looking kind of cool in the future. Haha... <laughs> Uh, anyway, and then a, uh, Drago Pack Filler. We don't really care about those. Uh, yeah, next pack. Probably go grab a garbage can and throw these in. Alright, Deep Vines. Baku Crusher. Max React. Darku Slice, a lot of Darkus here. Darku Storm. Darkus Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. Lily again, Ventus Hyper Feral again, and we got a Ventus Maximus Dragonoid Core Elite. This is one of the uh, more desirable cards out of the set. Uh, 1207, it has a 5 cost. Uh, the 5 cost is important, but we're not actually playing it for 5 because it says Trifecta. If your Bakugan have at least 3 or more Baku cores attached to them, you can just play this for free. So what, you won the first two battles and you rolled Drago third? Awesome. You have the evil in hand? Awesome. Now you have a 1207 on a Bakugan that comes with a magic shield and a helix. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. It's looking to be one of the um, main picks for Ventus. Uh, we're still looking at Nilius Ultra to see if it gets a good evo. We're still looking at Rai Razu to see if it gets a good evo. Um, and we can always just fall back on Pegatrix if the situation demands. But otherwise, this just seems really good, <laughs> especially with um, the amount of core grabbing that exists right now. And then our hex is a magma flow common, and another drago. Right. 
so. Other than the flip hero, we're doing pretty good so far. Alright, pack number three. Sting Laser. First chaos card. Uh, natural Defense. Over and Under. Ventus Hypertrox. Prism Blast. Wing Arrow. Aquas Bubble. The card that uh, basically says you're playing Mono Aquas. No. Uh, Razor Tusk. And our SR Plus is a Pyrus Hyperhydorus Ultra. When you play this, it has a Baku Gear attached, plus three energy. So, I mean, you're basically getting plus one energy by playing this if you already invested into a gear, which, uh, not amazing, and I don't think that has any redeeming qualities on the base form. We get another drag up. Hey, Toolbox, what's up? Uh, another <laughs> Maximus Dragonoid, Bakugan Elite, uh, this time in Hex. So I'll uh, I'll take those. That's one of my three hexes down and one of my three regulars down and uh, another Drago. Interesting. So yeah, hey, uh, toolbox. Uh, you can't have it. Just to let you know. Uh, all right. I'm into the next pack here. Yes, we finally got a Pyrobliterator. Two cost plus seven hundred. It's above curve. It uses two really good factions. It's. You, you, you Mega Pega deck exists. Yeah. Carapace Spin. Uh, another good card uh, for certain circumstances, that is. One cost for 100B and draw a card. It's not quite Baku Treasure, it's not quite Falling Strike, but it's it's a decent card. It's uh, Orless Trox fodder, assuming Orless Trox still exists with stuff like uh, <laughs> uh, unless we get Lupithion's really good or or, I mean, it, it, unless Sync, Sync just takes over with a uh, Howling Shell Bomb or whatever it's called. Uh, Ice Barrage, Burrowing Blow, Cosmic Fireball, Ventus Stealth, Dark Sledge. When you play, well, when you play this, choose a player to discard two cards. That's a six cost, but on a Gear Core, that'll be four, and only uh, gives you three hundred six. Uh, I don't even think this really has a place in Cubo Control, but even then, who knows, people come up with crazy stuff. Here we go, uh, Fire Launcher. This is a 5 cost gear, but of course it's going to be a 3 cost because we're going to be, anytime we play gear, we're probably going to be on a minus 2 gear energy uh, buck core. And it says when you play this, plus 4 energy. And since you're paying 3 for it, it's a plus 1 energy. It's kind of like that uh, Pyrus Hyperhydro, uh, Hyperhydro's Ultra Evo except it's more universal, and also it just gives you plus 300B. So this it's basically free energy and a super shot. And then an awesome rare Ventus Cyclonator, I've already got four of these from a couple other packs in the starter deck. Uh, three cost gear, but of course that means one boost when you play this. If you have f uh, seven or more energy cards in play, plus five damage, so it's basically a 106 for one, and uh, there's just better damage boosting options, especially with that one darkest gear and fusion force that basically says if you if you have no cards in hand when you play it, you get 707 for one. Uh, and then we got a Pyrus Titan Nilius Hex. Uh, four cost, 1205. When this opens, you may empower the next card you play this turn for free. Uh, I think if we're trying to do an empower deck and we want to be empowering things for free, I'd rather just drop down Leah and Dan and use a better Pyrus Bakugan. But who knows, we might get a lot better empower stuff, we might get um, better Pyrus support maybe, I don't know. Uh, that is a super rare. And our first non-Drago character card, we got the Hydorus here. Alright. Yeah, pretty good so far with the two Max Dragos. Alright, starting off with a Darkest Ash. Divine Evolution. Uh, Energetic Decay. Uh, this is pretty much the best uh, generic damage reduction for one energy that we have. It's basically um, nature's power for damage. Baku Block. Another Pyrobliterator. Sweet, that's two. Carapace Spin. Nilius Troublemaker, a Diamond Auxilator, a Twilight Axis, super rare, 
uh, four minus two is two. Rapid fire, the second rapid fire card, or second rapid fire card you played this turn is free, and plus three hundred three. So you're playing this for two energy, or you're playing it off of your free rapid fire buff. Um, who knows what rapid fire is doing right now with all the stuff we're seeing in Fusion Force? Uh, we might play this. We might play uh, Mecha Claws. We might play that 707 gear. Who knows? But it's definitely still an option. And then our hex is a corruption. Four cost. Uh, Darkest Aquas. Draw three and sink. You may reveal a card in your hand that costs four energy exactly. If you do, your opponent discards a card. Um, you can almost compare it to Aquas Hyper Fangzor from Battle Brawlers, where it's just a four for drawing three. But you do get this effect of being able to reveal a card that costs four to make your opponent discard a card, but I don't think that's too useful. We have better just generic draw power through stuff like Baku Treasure in the future, uh, Deep Dive and Shun and stuff like that. And then the Pegatrix uh, art card. Come on. All right, starting off with Lightning Wing, Maximus Pegatrix, Aquas Hyper Dragonoid, Swirling Darkness. Oops, that's a darkest Aquas. Divine Evolution. Aquakinesis, uh, and sort of interesting re-roll, it's almost like Dark Waters, uh, but it has Sync Synergy, so 1 cost plus 200B, so just like Dark Waters, and then Sync says you may reveal a card in your hand that costs 1 to re-roll your Bakugan. Um, it's kind of just filler from Mono Aquas, or unless we get some good Sync stuff that lets it play itself for free if it's revealed, kind of like um, HSB or Howling Shell Bomb. Um, if we get one cost that let them play themselves for free, then this you could sync could really be popping off and make a better Fury engine than Fury. <laughs> and then Aquas Bubble, Razor Tusk, and an Aquas Titanilius. Five cost, thirteen hundred five. Victor Sync, reveal a card in your hand that costs five or more for plus ten damage. Uh, would be cool if Hydorus didn't exist, and also it didn't cost five. And then a Hex Ice Barrage common. Originally I was gonna have um, a Q&A while I opened these boxes, but then I realized by the time I finished my videos I didn't have enough time left before the packs were gonna get here, and then there would be like no questions to answer, so I said, nah, screw it. Alright, Pyru Portal, Dark Helm, Titan Trox, Dark Daggers, Bolt Bow, I know some people think this card will be nice for free Frost Strike, but eh. Nature's Wrath, here's an interesting card, 7 cost plus 2000B. Now sure it's prone to stuff like Sinkhole, but um, you can play this in a Nova Burst deck, uh, assuming anybody actually has Nova Burst. You can play it with um, like Big Boy Evos, you, um, where you're playing Divine Intervention and high cost Evos anyway. Uh, so you'll be able to get to that 7 energy naturally and just be able to drop a 2000B card. Uh, another Fade Ninja Baku Rider. Diamond Enoch Ultra. Uh, Incendiary Flames, 8 cost. Make a Pyrus attack equal to the damage rating of one of your Bakugan. Uh, extremely uh, Johnny card. I know Bonds probably looked at this card and thought, hmm. But, uh, no, don't. Don't do it. And then a Hex Hypertrox. Oops. Alright. Ventus Stinky. Deep Vines. Baku Crusher. Pyru Cannon. Rocket Bracers. Pyru Hammer. Chaotic Flare, rare. Lava Lash. You can only play this before rolling. This turn your Bakugan gets a Victor plus four energy. Uh, this is a card that doesn't help you win the battle, and therefore you should not be investing into it. And then a, uh, another flip hero, Fiery Friend. Fiery Friend. Stop non-Pyrus and put this into play. Your Bakugan get double strike. 
What? That's not very good. And for six cost, yeah. Nope. And a Hex Diamond Enoch Ultra. Come on, where's the rest of the Dragos? Where's the Mega Pegas? Alright, Pyrus Vortex. Giant Inferno. Dark Daggers. Bolt Bow. Dark Helm. Another Nature's Wrath. Uh, over here. Shadow Flame. Hypernilius Ultra. And a Honey Trap. Toolbox says I'm gonna pull like 50 of these. Who knows? Uh, one cost. Chaos action, draw a card, and your evoke and hero cards cannot be destroyed this turn. So it could be pretty nice if we get into a destruction heavy format, or if you really need to protect a certain evo and you don't want it to get waned, um, or if you're playing Maximus still for some reason and you don't want your heroes to get destroyed. And then another Hex Hypertrox. Okay, I did some very much needed cleaning up. On. So guys, how about Anime Expo, huh? Uh, Guardian Wings, Divine Evolution, Aquakinesis, Carapace Spin, Ice Barrage, Burrowing Blow, Hate Stretching Over This Far, Ventus Fort, Heaven and Earth Strike. Uh, three cost, reroll your Bakugan. If that Bakugan opens on the reroll, you may attach an additional Bakugan from the field to it. So it's kind of like um, consort and a reroll, and that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it has its niche uses, of course. And another flip hero, I'm not going to explain it because we don't care. And Aqua Greaves, we also don't care. Alright, moving on. Well, we started it off pretty good, but now we're kind of not doing so nice. Alright. Uh, Dark Rain. Tail Whip. What? Tail Whip, yeah, the Pokemon move. Raging Darkness. Ventu Channel, or 10 cost 10, or 10 cost 1010. Uh, you play it in big gears and nothing else. But then again, you're probably not playing big gears because we get washed away. Uh, Pyru Cannon, Rocket Bracers, Shadow Flame, Chaotic Flare, Shadow Ambush, 3 cost, plus 5 damage. If another card causes you to reveal this card from your hand, give a Bakugan, or give a Bakugan plus 2 damage. So I guess you can keep this in your hand and every time you sink something, then you just get plus 2. Uh, I don't think that would be very useful. But it's better than a flip hero. Uh, Diamond Pegatrix Ultra. Not the Pegatrix Ultra Evo we're looking for, but hey. That's a hex for this set. I like that I don't have to take these out of cardboard. Alright, so we got a Baku Bite. Ventu Smashers. Windstorm. Uh, zero cost. Minus 100B. So it's kind of like Greater Water Boost, but for Ventus... Boost. If you have seven or more energy cards in play, minus 500 instead. So it just becomes a zero cost nature's power once you get the uh, once you get to the boost level, which is seven energized cards. Baku Mortar, Ventus Stinky, Heo Bracers. Another thing you play in big gear, or even then, uh, four cost plus a thousand. That's not necessarily horrible. Uh, Ventus Fort. Ultrasonic Speed. How much Ventus are we getting in this pack? Uh, Ventus Titan Hellcore Ultra. And they Hex Nature's Wrath. Here we go. Again, Toolbox. This is mine. Back off. That is a... It's a common? I thought it was a rare. No, you stay. Alright, alright. By the time you're watching this, I'd like to say it's Friday. Uh, Hyper Dragonoid Ultra Auralis. I I want I want to play this card. It looks fun. I like helixes. I like big damage. Uh, two cost eight hundred one, but plus eleven damage on a helix. So even if you do a six hundred three helix, then you're getting fourteen hundred and let's see twelve minus three. That's still nine damage. So eh, yeah, would well, now we get better stuff for the cost, but eh, helix decks could be fun. If you have a minus two damage plus or minus two hundred B plus five damage helix, 
You'd be what? So 12, you'd be at 17 if you can win off might or something. That's, not, yeah, that's actually a pretty decent number. Uh, Dark Rain, Energetic Decay, Tail Whip, Baku Thrusters, Raging Darkness, Heaven and Earth Strike again, another Ventus Fort, and another Ventus Cyclonator, and a Hex Magma Blaster. Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1, plus Double Strike and 200 B. This is just uh, Drago's fill in gear. Really hope these are all focusing, because it doesn't look like they are. Still probably getting better pictures than what we had taken at the Invitational. Aqua Plate, 3 minus 2 is 1, plus 400, has a place in Mono Aquas and nothing really else. Baku Thrusters, Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, Scorching Swords, Darker Tsunami, Dark Rain, Vice Cutter, Diamond Nilius, and Tropic Touch, destroy all enemy Baku Gear cards. This would have been a cool card if uh, we weren't just getting a two-cost negate a Baku Gear and Aquas anyway. And we got a Hex Titan Feral Elite. Six cost, 1307. Victor, search your deck for a dual faction card, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. At least this card says to put it into your hand after you search for it, unlike Magnus. Uh, not amazing, there aren't really any huge value you can get off of dual faction cards, even if you're just getting like a uh, Howling Shell Bomb or something. Um, Pyro Obliterator is not going to do you much if you search it out by the time you have this in play. Uh, other than that, yeah, and it's a hex for the set. I think I already have opened a regular one before, so at least I got that out of the way. We want, the, uh, we want the Dragos, or yeah, we want the Ventus Dragos, we want the, the Mega Pegas. Swirling Darkness, Divine Evolution, Aquakinesis, Ventus Smashers, Baku Mortar, Hail Bracers, Winton the Hungry. I really wish this worked with Maximus, uh, Hero. If your Bakugan have three or more Baku cores attached to them, they get plus three and Shadow Strike. Or your attack, your Bakugan attacks get plus three and Shadow Strike. I don't know what it means for your attacks to get Shadow Strike. But, yeah. Spring of Life. And an Inspired Brawler. In a Hex Natural Defenses. It's a common. Alright, another Ventu Stinky. Deep Vines, Baku Crusher, Baku Block, Max React, Rip Darkest Maxitar, uh, Darku Slice, another Diamond Auxilitar, Diamond Feral, Ventus Hyper Hellcore, and a Hex Lily. Feels nice open in the box of, uh, of 36 packs instead of 24, huh? Yeah. Uh, Deep Vines, Baku Crusher, Ventus Smashers, Baku Mortar. Feels like the same packs over and over again. Halo Bracers, Ventu Channeler, Aquas Maximus Trox Ultra. This is another interesting thing. Probably not playing it over Hydorus and anything, but it does have an interesting effect. So it's a 2 cost 808, it says when you attach a Baku gear to this, plus 500 B this turn. So it's almost sort of like Lupithion, but it's for gears, and you have a bunch of cheap gear and free gear. I guess you could play uh, Aqua Plates in this. Um, and with the uh, gear that lets you attach multiple gear to a Bakugan and coming in Fusion Force, uh, this could be an interesting archetype moving forward. Especially, I guess, if we uh, pair it with Darkus and play Sync. And then we can also play uh, Scorching Swords. Or, um, Darku Destroyer, or whatever it's called, the uh, Scorching Sword Power Creep. You can basically, if someone Ventuses you, then you can just, uh, play your Scorching Swords and then play something else. You get your Shadow Strike, and then you get rid of your Shadow Strike, but you still get the, uh, removal of the debuff from the Shadow Strike, even though you only had it once. Uh, Darkest Hyper Hydorus Ultra, 
and recycle. Two cost, destroy one of your energy cards in play to draw two cards. You should not be destroying your energy for anything unless it says win the game. Uh, boost, if you have seven or more energy cards in play, return this to your hand so you can keep destroying your energy and not get more energy. That's not very good. Uh, and then watery deflection, two cost. You can only play this before rolling. Uh, this turn your Bakugan gets Victor. Uh, copy the next action card you play this turn. Again, it's an investment that doesn't help you win the battle, so do not play it. What what is what is glimmering glaive? Bakum order. Hail bracers. Windstorm. Ventus Stinky, Ventu Channeler, Deep Vines, Ventus Hyper Feral, Diamond Trox Ultra, and Tropic Touch, and a Hex Fire Launcher. Ooh! I'll take that. It's not a Mega Pega or a Glaive, but I'll take that. Alright. Raging Darkness. Speaking of Raging Darkness, where is Dark Rage? Well, it really makes you think how similar some of these cards are named. Uh, Bolt Bow. Flame Jump. Pyru Portal. Titan Trox. Another Nature's Wrath. Dragonoid Skater Supreme. Two cost hero. Rapid Fire. The second Rapid Fire card. Or er, second Rapid Fire card you play this turn is free. It also says that it lets you play the third Rapid car Rapid Fire card every turn. Look, I don't know how long it's been since the camera stopped recording, but we're just gonna keep going as if nothing ever happened, and the camera doesn't decide to just stop doing something, never without alerting me. Now, you may have missed a few packs, but nothing important happened from the time it seemed to have left cut off. Anyway, uh... Sting Laser. Hypertrox. Prism Blast. Wing Arrow. Haya, Hail Crescent, Lightning Wing, Diamond Gillator Ultra, Diamond Cycloid, Another Shadow Ambush, and a Hex Maximus Pegatrix. I believe I already have one of those. Dear Bakugan, make normal packs. Uh, Dark Rain, Aquakinesis, Tempest Generator. Uh, Tail Whip, Aqua Plate, I'm gonna move the Ventus down here so I don't have to stretch as far. Flame Jump, Stealth Thruster, 4 minus 2 is 2. When you play this, energize the top card of your deck uncharged, 400 zero. Uh, so it's a 2 cost, plus 400 B, and Ramp 1. Uh, Heaven and Earth Strike, an Orless Hypernelius Ultra, yes, this is a good Evo, I believe. 3 energy, 804. Well, this has Baku Gear attached to it, plus 707, which means you're going to be a 1511 without the bonus from your gear as a base form until your gear gets destroyed or if it gets negated in the first place. And uh, that's, that's pretty good because Evo Destruction and Core Theft is a thing. Um, or I, I guess mainly Core Theft is a thing and you don't want to be relying on a huge core bonus. Luckily, though, this thing does come with a magic shield. So let's see, you're uh, 1500 plus a magic shield, that's 2150 for a 3 cost evo. That's almost what um, Pegatrix hits with its core bonus, or Aventus Pegatrix. So yeah, this is a, a pretty good card. It's a, definitely a build around, not just something you throw in. Ooh, and then a Hex Twilight Axes. Alright, looking at maybe a little over. 10 packs left here in this box. Let's see how it goes. Hail Bracers, the Chaos Gear that isn't Glaive. Uh, Baku Crusher, Max React, Ventu Channeler, Pyru Cannon, Darku Slice, Diamond Hellcor, Razor Tusk, <laughs> Ventus Cyclonator, and a Hex Ventus Stealth. Oh, that's cool. Only. Okay, that's a really nice Hex effect. Only Batrix is Hex. These aren't even, like, normal booster boxes. Come on. Treat yourself like a real trading card game. 
uh, Windstorm, Venti Stinky, uh, Pyro Cannon, Rocket Bracers, Pyro Hammer, Hyper Dragonoid Ultra, Diamond Feral, Molten Stomp, <laughs> Inspired Brawler, and a Hex Shadow Flame. If I open one more flip hero. I'm going to flip, hero. Uh, Baku Bite, Windstorm, Ventus Stinky, Deep Vines, Baku Crusher, Ventus Smashers, Heaven and Earth Strike, Stealth Thruster, Spirit Speed, this is a hyped card, this is basically the air zero of, uh, of Armored Elite. Uh, three cost, play a non-flip card from your hand with cost five or less for free. In power, you may pay an additional three energy to pay another non-flip card with your... Another non-flip card with cost five or less for free. People are saying, oh, just play Chaotic Flare into Spirit Seed, or Spirit Speed, and you get to empower whatever for free. And, uh, you pay three energy to pay... to play two five-cost cards. Okay, first of all, that's four cards from your hand, and then what are you gonna do? Yeah. And then a Hex Ultrasonic Speed. <laughs> Where went the good cards? We had good cards at the beginning of the box, and now we have not those cards. Everything is Darkus. Darkus Slice. Darku Storm. Baku Block. Hyper Dragonite Ultra. Tempest Generator. Darku Tsunami, Razor Tusk, Aquas Bubble, whoopsie, that goes here, Aquas Bubble, Crystallize, also known as the, uh, uh, the Barbetra character card art, uh, two cost, plus two Frost Strike, and if the opposing player plays a flip card this turn, draw two, which doesn't make sense, because if you're paying for Frost Strike, then you're aiming to not get hit by a flip, so it's counterintuitive, sort of, and then a Hex Pegatrix Video Star, Bear with me here, I'm sure we've got something good on the way. Ventus Hypertrox, Pyrus Scorch, Maximus Pegatrix, Hyper Dragonoid, Pyrus Vortex, Swirling Darkness, Diamond Dragonoid, Wings of Aquas, a Chaos Hyper Feral, and a Hex Razor Tusk. Oh, only six packs left. What are Alright, Ventus Hypertrox, Woo. Dark, er, Baku Crusher, Max React, Darku Slice, Darku Storm, Aquakinesis, Widery Deflection, Chaos Control, I mean the Chaos Emerald, uh, Darkest Titan Feral, 5 cost, 1205, sync, when you open, when this opens you may reveal an Evo in your hand for plus damage equal to that Evo's damage rating. And they hex natural defenses. Can't wait till Fusion Force where all of these useless cards are gonna end up being, uh, true CCs. Alright, more Darkest, Darker Tsunami, Dark Rain, Baku Block, Tempest Generator, Aqua Plate, Tail Whip, Gillator Ultra, uh, Diamond Cycloid, Diamond T er, Ventus Titan Hellcore Ultra, Aqua's Crest, Hex. I gotta get me a camera I can record without blowing up. Maybe on the next one I won't sort things and I'll just go through super fast and only show the the rares and stuff. Alright, uh, Aqua Slime, Natural Defenses, Giant Inferno, Magma Flow, Hyper Pegatrix Ultra, Sting Laser, Lily, Hyper Feral, 
Like a clause, here's yeah, here's what I was talking about. So five minus two is three. If you have no other gear or if you have no other cards in your hand, you may play this for free. So it's a four hundred four for free, basically, if you're in fury. And next we have a dark water ambush. Hex. Almost done with this box here, only four packs left. A little disappointing, except for the very beginning. Alright, Baku Block, Dark Rain, Tail Whip, Tempest Generator, Aqua Plate, Raging Darkness, Dark Water Ambush, Fade Ninja, Baku Rider, Crystallize, and another Hex Maximus Dragonoid. Alright, I'm not complaining, I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> Love you, Toolbox. Uh, Lightning Wing. Maximus Pegatrix. Hyper Dragonoid. Swirling Darkness. Divine Evolution. Aquakinesis. Dark Sledge. Fire Launcher. And Dripping Poison, 6 cost plus 600 B and negate an action card. Uh, no. And a Hex Crystallize. Alright. Baku Mortar, Hail Bracers, Deep Vines, Baku Crusher, Ventu Channeler. Pyru Cannon, Diamond Feral, uh, Fire Launcher, did we just, no. Uh, a Pyrus Titan Nilius Core, we got a Hex Gear, a Hex Brilliant Armor, super rare. Alright, we've got one pack left, let's hope it's something. Can we get a glaive? <laughs> Please? Alright, bolt blow. Bolt. Bolt blow, yes. Uh, I thought it was bolt bow. Uh, raging darkness. Flaming jump. Nature's wrath. Pyru portal. Titan trox. Dark sledge. Fire launcher. And our last super rare plus is... Honey trap. The curse is coming true. And our last hex is a bolt blow. Interesting. So let's see here. Uh, comment. So here are the. Uh, so between. Here, let's just see. So this box we had four elites. Uh, three of them were hex. So we had two hex Maximus Dragonoids one regular Maximus Dragonoid, and then one Hex Titan Feral. So four elites for a box is a decent ratio, I guess. Um, total, let's see, the uh, awesome rares, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen awesome rares, no hexes. Um, and then Brilliant Armor, er, uh, Super rares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 super rares, and I think I counted 7 hexes. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep. Oh, 8, 8 hexes. Let's see how many hex commons we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hex commons. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hex rares. We have one, um, two pyrobliterators in terms of desirables here. Uh, what else is desirable? Um, 
We didn't get any dark rages, unfortunately. Let's see. Got one tempest generator, two tempest generators, three tempest generators, four. Wait. We have four tempest generator, five. Five tempest generators. How many fire launchers do we get here? One. Two, three. So there's at least my place set. Uh, four. Four fire launchers. Zero glimmering glaives, because it's a rare. I would rather have pulled four glimmering glaives than four fire launchers. What a well. So yeah, that is our first box of Armored Elite here. Stay tuned for more because we still have two, we still got two booster boxes left open here. I don't know if you can see those, but yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on Documentary.